Basically highlights and shadows. Yes. So it's all about light. It's all about light. Oh, you're not allowed to look at it. Rembrandt never let them look. Did they? No, 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 no. You're not allowed to look. Sorry. <laughs> Go back to your chair. Get back to that chair. <laughs> What's really nice when you look along these paintings mm. is they're all from a different perspective. Mm. And I kind of have this kind of vision of Rembrandt with all of his assistants and him in the middle. And um, them all being like from different angles. It's great. Rembrandt's use of light and shadow, his technique with paint and his ability to capture what he saw with unflinching honesty is unrivaled. But he also knew how to create a sense of drama on the canvas so that his images jump out and grab your attention. And that's because he was a master of composition. For my next portrait, I have asked Terry Gilliam to join me. Actor, director, artist and comedian, Terry is perfect because I need a performer, somebody who can play the part. The man pictured is called Flores Soap. He was a rich, aging bachelor who commissioned this life-size portrait of himself dressed in his militia uniform. Rembrandt brings many elements together here, dramatic lighting and shadows, rich colors, costumes and props to create this colorful character. Give us a cuddle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I, I, I didn't know what to wear, so I thought so I'd wear this. Yeah, that's brilliant. I don't have the gold sash. No, it's OK. I would like the mop, though. You would? He's standing there carrying a mop. I've, I've been demanding a mop. I'm not just Where lying. is the mop? Look at the mop. Look at that. Is that a man with a mop? That's a mop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we can find a mop. Oh, look, the mop is here, look. Please, please, can we have the mop? Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Which mop would you oh, like? I don't know. Which is Sir more Gilliam. period? Which is more period, do you think? I think the one on the, the our, our left is the more period, but the yeah. one here is I think funnier. It's bigger... Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. How can you say no <laughs> to a man like that? <laughs> a standard bearer. How are we, how yes, are we a making cleaner world, this a better really world. serious art documentary I'm doing funny? <laughs> <laughs> You got the wrong guy. I got the wrong guy. <laughs> Great, OK. Oh, well, this, I feel better already. Yeah, that looks really good. Because a man without a prop or a mop is a man who doesn't know what to do with his hands. Yeah. Yeah. OK. I'm going to clean so, up this country. <laughs> so obviously, I'm not a painter. I've just proved to the girls that, uh, huh. you know, we, we, had, we had to come to a school to show how people paint because I, I can't. You, yeah, but you're <laughs> such a fantastic illustrator. I can draw and airbrush and do things like that. but. Painting, that's painting. I can't do that. Because when you look at it, this looks like it's so detailed, but it's just like. <laughs> he makes noises like that when he paints. I discovered that. <laughs> yeah, it's in one of the biographies of Rembrandt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, now he's going to do the night watch. <laughs> um, so you've got the mop. Let's go. Let's go and do it. Off we go. To work. This way. One, two. <laughs> OK. Right. Stomach in, head back. Yeah, very proud. Pull face, camera clicks. Pull other face, camera clicks. It's actually really good. Yeah. And now Terry looks at it. <laughs> it's not that funny. I know. No, it's just me uh, with a mop. <laughs> and this rather imperious, arrogant look. People don't normally laugh at my photos, just an FYI for everyone. He's not as good as he thinks he is. <laughs> He's OK. He's OK. I can but hear you. This is, he can't hear me, really. <laughs> Come on, then. Today, I came down fairly Rembrandtish. I mean, in fact, I'm very Rembrandtish. We don't move from, we go from black through kind of a little brownish, and that's it. Um, no, I love it because the limited palette is it's so easy to focus. It's like black and white photography. It's so much more powerful than colorful photography because it's, it's down to black and white. And so you're dealing with something that is, is more simplified and, and always to me is more powerful. Can we just try the light a little bit lower? And maybe just bring it round a little bit. Rembrandt just stood them a bit away from the window. Yes, of Maybe course. Maybe a couple candles on that side to fill, and of that's course. it. 
It's the shadow. The shadow is the key. That's where yeah. the real, where the imagination comes alive, and that's wonderful. Uh, Oh, see shots. Sorry, you, guys. Hand okay. Yeah. The hand is great. Yeah, very good. Come and have a look at that one. Wait for it, everybody. That's very nice. Because I'm not, I'm not asking about. <laughs> nice. Mm. No, it actually feels actually a genuine character. Good. All right. Yeah. So That's us done. Go home now. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can absolutely yeah. have the mop as well. You're nothing but generous. Always have been. <laughs> yeah. No, despite what I say, I do like your work. <laughs> I love your work. <laughs> okay. Enough. Enough of that. What I love about Terry is you would never guess he was 74 years old. And that's because he is, he plays and he's playing and he's having, he's enjoying life. And when you look in his eyes, his eyes are full of life. And, and when you talk to him, you'd think he was like 50, like if, he, if a day, you know? I wanted to bring together all the elements I've seen so far to allow the unique persona Terry created to take centre stage. The mop works in a similar way to the standard, drawing the eye towards the face and what a face it is. Just like this standard bearer, Terry makes you smile. He has brilliantly caricatured Rembrandt's self-satisfied sitter. I'm meeting up with my final sitter, the actress and artist, Eunice Dubbs. Hiya. Oh, hello. 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 A thrill. What a treat. <laughs> So you come here every day? I love it. I come here to sketch and get really interesting characters here. Tell me about why you choose people. What, what attracts you to them? I, I, I suppose because I'm an actress, I love characters, seeing characters. So I'm always observing. And uh, I, I just I start with the eyes, usually, or a, a, a definite feature, a distinctive feature. Like a nose? Yes. Or, or a dimple. A dimple. <laughs> Uh, or a coat, like you wore. What do you think the difference is between somebody like me taking a, a portrait, a photograph of someone, and you drawing or painting someone else? So I'm trying to capture something of the person that they don't know that they've got. And sometimes somebody catches the fact that I'm sketching them and they start swishing their hair do and they? doing attractive faces. But it's not what you want. You want the truth behind the eyes and behind everything. What do you think about having your photograph taken today? Well, I, I normally don't like having my picture taken, right. but it's you. <laughs> For my final painting, I have chosen the portrait of Akia Class from the National Gallery. Akia was 85 when Rembrandt painted this intriguing portrait of her, but the young Rembrandt was only 28 at the time. I am fascinated by Rembrandt's ability to create the impression of a mind at work. Akia seems lost in thought or even remembering, her expression hard to read. With Yuna's help, I'm going to try to capture the absorbing quality of this painting. Yes, come and have a look. She's lovely. So obviously you look nothing like her. <laughs> I'm not quite that age. I'm quite old, but I'm not quite that age. And do you find, Rankin, the more you look at it, that you can see a little smile coming there? Yeah. Well, well I didn't see it first. The, the funny thing is, is when you see the painting in real life, you just see more, and the yeah. more you look at it, the more you see. I'm wondering if we should, what, we should lose are. the glasses. Yeah, that's good. Takes a while before I can you see. Look young, you look younger without your glasses. Oh, thank you. I can't do without them, unfortunately. I'm going to be crashing into walls now. <laughs> I'll, I'll <laughs> Not wearing my in. glasses. I'll guide you in. Oh. If you sit here. Yeah. Right. I'm looking. Where? If you look into the kind of into here a bit, like maybe right, and then just like into the distance there, that's great. And kind of try and lose yourself a little bit and just turn your body to the left a little more. That's it, great. And almost lean into that a little tiny bit, that's great. That's... I'm not changing, Rankin. Do you want me to? You are changing subtly. Oh. 
pretend you need a pee. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Did you pee? No! You're not allowed to pee! Oh. Do you want to have a look then? Come on, you might as well have a proper look. Yeah. Poor old thing. To be able to read behind somebody's eyes and, and try and imagine what sort of life they've had. For instance, Akia, you think at first, oh, Bless her, she looks sad. But then after a while of looking, there's a little smile there. Because it was so truthful, I didn't mind that I look all wrinkly and, and elderly. Quite like it. It's good. I really it's like really it. It's really good. Okay. Let's try a couple more. I love that. And top of the head to the right a little. That's great. And then really look, that's great. Great, really fantastic, actually. You, when you when you have something that's so great, you know you know what I'm trying to achieve. So <laughs> you know, to me this is this is great. I don't oh. I don't. Oh, I'm glad. It's the same sort of expression, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Maybe I should just start doing this. <laughs> it's you. been a lovely day. Thank you. <laughs> You're amazing. Oh, you are. Oh, my God, I'm so flattered to be here. Thank you so much. Gosh, gosh, that's a bit gushy, isn't it? Thanks very much. <laughs> now, now, go away. No, okay, no, I am, I'm I am. Just... I'm going, I'm going. Rembrandt spent many weeks and months working on his paintings. His portraits are not frozen moments, but a distillation of time over a long period. It's impossible to truly recreate Rembrandt in any medium. He's the master of portraiture, and his genius is far more than the sum of his techniques. But with Yuna's help, I think this portrait has got something of the original quality of the painting, especially Akia's elusive stare that raises so many questions for the viewer. Beauty is something that I've always believed is much further beyond the, the surface. And I see the beautiful in the imperfections I just do. I'm, 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 I'm a photographer that's drawn to imperfections. I've always been drawn to them. And he was the one that had the side light that really didn't hide anything, actually kind of made it more obvious. So I think it's good at this point, after all these years of Photoshop and all these years of us manipulating imagery, to kind of look at his work and say, there's more value in enjoying age and enjoying you know, what people really look like than, than trying to hide it. I think the more you show what people really look like, the, the, the mask comes off and you show them more for who they are. He captured the moment in their, in their lives that still lives in the paintings. Not the same kind of moment as you, you do in a photograph because that's like an incident of a second. But to be able to capture that and put it into a painting that somebody like me, 400 years later, can stand in front of and see something else and then see something else and then see something else. There's nothing like it. And that's the magic of Rembrandt. Your smile so warm 